The pronunciation for this car is highly debated, so just to clear everything up in the beginning of this video, this is how you pronounce this car. Bugatti Chiron. And with that, let's get into this video. So, as most of you probably know, Asphalt 9's supposedly best car in the game, the Bugatti Chiron, was released a few weeks ago. The car was first released in a form of a special event, where people could do a bunch of races to get blueprints, unlock the car, and upgrade it further with even more blueprints. Now, the first day of this event seemed really nice, where we were given 10 blueprints as long as we did the race over and over again. And I thought, this is pretty amazing! Gameloft is deciding to give us a really great car for free. Thank you so much, Gameloft. For giving us this false hope because no the other days were killer difficult where it required other cars that needed to be bought with tokens and money and it was terrible we got very few blueprints from this actual event we didn't even get 20 unless we had all the cars that were needed like the ferrari j50 the corvette grand sport so basically if you were lucky you could probably win about 20 blueprints from this event at most unless you really had all those other cars that were upgraded and such but if you were like me you were stuck with very few blueprints. Which meant, I spent a lot of tokens getting this car. Hey, y'all wanna see some really nice unboxing? Well, here you go, take a look. Usually when you buy specific card packs with legendary blueprints in them, the prices of these packs are one for 75 tokens and 10 for 750 tokens. But for this car, it was 90 and 950. So it's quite a bit more expensive, but with that said, this is supposedly the best car in the game, so I guess, sure, it would be marked up a little bit. Now, one thing I learned the hard way was that you should never, ever buy the one pack for 90 tokens, because it's a huge ripoff. There's no guarantee that you'll get those blueprints that you want, and it can waste a lot more tokens than if you buy the more expensive deal, the buy 10 for 900 tokens. That one at least guarantees one pack, and usually it's more than one pack that you will get of the Chiron blueprints. But even with this somewhat better deal of 10 packs for 900 tokens, it still took a lot of tokens and a lot of packs before I could unlock this car, and saving up 8,000 or so tokens really does take a long time. So that's a lot of work right there being spent away. And after spending 5,490 tokens, I finally unlocked the Bugatti Chiron. Now keep in mind, I started out with 15 blueprints for this car already, so to get those 45 blueprints still took 5,500 tokens or so. That's a lot of money. Even though I now had the car, I still wanted to upgrade it as much as possible, so I spent the remainder of my tokens trying to upgrade this car even more, and all I got to was 2 stars, with around 3,000 tokens. <laughs> I'm so sad. And if any of you wanted to know, the Bugatti Chiron gives you 36,900 points in garage level once you unlock it. But garage level doesn't really matter nowadays because there's nothing past level 8 quite yet. So, you know, just had to throw that in there anyways. So we get it. It costs a lot to obtain the car. But how about upgrades? It's so expensive. Really, just to upgrade it all the way to stars? costs around 3 million credits. I went from 19 million to 16 million. And you may be surprised I didn't spend any money to get those credits or tokens. I saved it all up, and now a huge chunk of it is gone. Better start grinding again. Before I say even more negative things about this car, I would like to touch on those positive aspects. So let's take this car on the road. On the road, there's so many advantages for this car, except one main thing, which is the really bad nitro efficiency. That means that getting shockwaves, well, activating those shockwaves don't really do anything. Your speed increases a bit, but not a lot, because it just runs out so quick. But let's talk about some good things, like that speed. Because the speed for this car, with Nitro, is extremely fast. It goes at 2 stars more than 280 miles an hour, which is 450 kilometers an hour. That's very impressive for any car in this game. In addition, the handling and drifting are very good for this car and getting through corners is not that big of a deal, even at pretty high speeds. The acceleration without Nitro is also fantastic, so you got almost a perfect car here except for its Nitro efficiency. But okay, let's talk some smack about this car. 
Sure, you can cruise around at super fast speeds with great handling and drifting, but you can only do that for three times, and then you have to refill the oil for this car, and that's a six hour wait. Sure, you can watch ads, but like 50 ads in order to reduce your time by a little bit. Still, for many of you, that's not that big of a deal. You can wait those six hours or watch a bunch of ads to skip through the six hours quickly. But then there's multiplayer. Yes, this car is very good for multiplayer, but you can rarely, if ever, use this car in multiplayer. That's because it's such a great car that Gameloft will not let you race this car at the beginning Bronze Leagues or Silver Leagues. You can only use this car in Legends League, which for this season is a ridiculous 2800 league rank. Which I'm not saying is impossible, but it's very hard to get for many people. And if you get this car, don't expect to use it that much in multiplayer, because I highly doubt everyone can get to you know, the legend season every single time and use this car even more. That's just very tough. Unless you're part of the top 100 spend their entire life playing this game squad, because if that's so, well then, the Bugatti Chiron is perfect for you. Although it still only lets you race three times before you have to refuel for six more hours, but if that's the case and you got lots of free time for this game, sure, go for it. Well, is this car useful for events or season races? For events, you got your Class S car events. Now, for those, sure, you'll get a really great time, but you don't need a car as good as the Bugatti Chiron to beat all those time requirements to get your credits. You can do that with a Lycan Hypersport, which is quite a bit easier to get than this car. And for season races, you'll see that I finish 93% of it without ever using the Bugatti Chiron. And those 7% that's remaining, most of that is just seasons I haven't done because I'm lazy, and it doesn't need the Bugatti Chiron for that. You can finish pretty much every single race in season races, except one race, if you don't have the Bugatti Chiron. So, not much of a point in getting the car for season races either. So, to sum up this whole video, is the car worth it? In my opinion, not really. Because look, this car is not bad, I'm not saying that. Its car is incredible, it goes at insane speeds with extremely great stats. But it's expensive to get, expensive to upgrade, expensive everything, and you could rarely use it ever. To me, it's just another collector's item. A really great collector's item that you can flex on other players three times every six hours, but that's pretty much it. Great car, but there's not that many opportunities to use it. But with that said, the game is going to expand in upcoming updates. Maybe Gameloft will make an entire section for this car. We don't know that yet. And maybe the car will never be on sale again, which I doubt, but that could happen too. So, you know, there's always future possibilities that this car would be even more useful. But till then, none of us know for sure. Thank you guys so much for listening to this video, hope you guys at least somewhat enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, cause why not? And if you didn't like this video, I don't care. And as always, feel free to subscribe, cause, I mean, my channel was dead for the last couple of months cause I didn't upload, but I'm hoping to get back at that upload schedule very soon. This is just the start of my content, of new content that you will see, so, you know, hit that subscribe button. And if me just saying that doesn't make it convincing enough, you can take a look at this sad, depressed teenager over here. Right now, he doesn't look that happy, but if you hit that subscribe button, he will smile so much more. So make sure to do that. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you guys in my future videos. Bye bye